Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this practical video i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of floor beam and rcc slab so let's get start guys i will guide you for basic knowledge guys this is floor beam construction as i told you in many videos that in floor beam we will provide extra steel rods at the distance of l by 4 guys you can see these are extra steel rods which they provided to resist negative bending moment the place of this extra steel rods they can use crank bar or bent up bar as you can see guys this is the junction again you can see to the distance of L by 4 they provided extra steel rods so here we have three steel rods at the bottom three at the top dia is 16 millimeter at this distance or L by 4 distance you are able to provide crank bar because crank bar is very economical compared to this extra steel rods as you can see this is the uh, this is the span between two column and here these are extra steel rods if you see guys they provided stirrups in this floor beam dia is 8 millimeter but here guys if you see the spacing is not perfect according to steel structural drawing so they did one of the big mistakes in this floor beam because hooks you can see which are provided on 90 degree but the perfect way is to provide on 135 degree but the spacing should not be more than for this commercial building not more than 6 inches at this place where we have extra steel rods after that they can increase the distance between two stirrups the hook's length should not be less than 3 inches guys you can see this is column and this is the junction between beam and column where we have negative bending moment so negative bending moment can make chances of cracks so to avoid the cracks we will provide extra steel rods as you can see the span between these two columns is about 14 feet so extra steel rod length is 4.3.5 feet guys you can see if you see the shuttering they provided uh, here you can see uh, there is the gap between this shuttering so therefore they should provide the plastering tape Main bars and distribution bars dia is same which is 12 millimeter and spacing is 6 by 6 inches they will provide concrete cover at the bottom of this mesh which will be about 25 mm or 1.5 inch from 1 to 1.5 inch or you can say from 25 to 40 mm you are able to provide concrete cover this is single mesh guys you can see they provided lapping length this is the middle so this is also the second big mistakes in the construction of this slab so this is not the place to provide lapping length so the lapping length you can provide after l by 4 distance or you can say l by 5 distance you can provide the lapping length so at the middle you cannot provide the lapping length because there we have positive bending moment which is maximum at the middle so in that case you are not able to provide lapping lens so the lapping length dia should not be less than 50 d where d is dia of steel rod thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye